last night, after the live nomination process, there was a conversation, a heated one, between Yolanda and Mbumi. And quite frankly, I don't think that even qualifies to be, you know, to be tagged a proper conversation because Yolanda was just literally yelling at Mbumi's face. You know, there's a difference between having a conversation with someone, you know, or talking to someone or talking at someone or talking about someone. Yolanda was basically talking at Mpumi. He's just basically shouting. I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, as much as Yolanda is very entertaining, you know, to watch, sometimes I'm just like, God, I pray and hope that this is not how this girl is on the outside. I really do hope that this is not how she communicates with people outside because it's very uncouth. There's nothing about, this is not even a case of, I'm just me myself, I'm a loud person. I mean, it's good for entertainment, but <laughs> I just really do hope that that is not how Yolanda is loud on the outside. She really is loud. You know, but yeah, back to the conversation. So they were having a conversation, which once again, I will say, did not look like a conversation because Yolanda was just <laughs> all up in Mbumi's face. And Mbumi was trying to match her energy, but we know that Mbumi is not one to be yelling when you know, having a conversation with people. She would rather calmly speak, you know, to pass on her point. And it was also very obvious that Yolanda was desperately trying to defend herself and clear her name, you know, with regards to the Mpumi's hygiene situation. And quite frankly, she was doing a terrible job at it. She ended up looking like a very mean person, very mean person. She ended up looking very, very insensitive. And guys, it was just really sad to watch, considering the fact that she's got her own physical defect. Yeah, you know. So it made me wonder that what if the case was reversed and, you know, this is something that Yolanda is struggling with, a skin condition. What if the reverse was the case? And she was very insecure about her skin condition. And then Bumi was the one yelling in her face, you know, shouting and being all defensive like that. People would literally burn the internet down. People would be saying all sorts that, oh, Bumi is a terrible person. Oh my God, can they see that, oh, our mental health is involved, blah, blah, blah. Because in that conversation, you could tell that Bumi was completely devastated she was crying i mean guys no woman wants to wants to stink no woman wants to be told that she stinks no woman wants to be told that her vagina smells like fish no woman wants to be yeah, guys this is a very sensitive topic and what i expected of yolanda who's a 33 year old one that claims to be very smart and wise you know for her age I was expecting that she handled that conversation with the utmost care, you know? Have a quiet conversation with Mpumi about it. But no, instead, we're just shouting and yelling. Uh, when when Ghost said that, remember you and I, it's not like we're friends and stuff, you understand? You don't, we don't so, have to be friends. Yes, but I couldn't come to you and say, hey, this is what they're saying about you. It's no, not like for me, about for me. me, we don't have to be friends. Because the camera was going back and forth, you know, between them and other people that were having conversations. By the time the camera came back again, I heard her explaining how the smell down there can be eradicated. And then she was still yelling and talking about it. Billy really was in the kitchen cooking. In fact, there were guys around just talking about, uh, I know that when I'm in the shower, I used to put my hand inside and wash it. I'm like, ah! When you with your back, you remove everything with your finger. That's what I do. I can't do it here because it's a shower. Hence, I'm I make sure, down, it's not even a vagina. Hence, I make sure that twice here, because I know if I don't bath twice, probably I'm going to have something. So the beginning of that conversation, frankly speaking, I did not see it. As a matter of fact, I doubt if they even showed it because it was, you know, a few minutes after 
um, the live nomination process. And after Lerato had been evicted from the house, Yolanda was being loud and noisy as usual. You know, as we would say, she was just expressing herself as Yolanda would normally do. You know, and the camera was just going back and forth around the house, around people that were having conversation. And then um, it landed on Pumi and Yolanda having that conversation in the kitchen. And it was Yolanda all up in Pumi's face, shouting and yelling and trying to clear herself and defend herself whilst not listening to what Mpumi was trying to tell her, which was the fact that, listen, regardless of whoever started the rumors, as you claim, <laughs> no female in this house came to me directly to tell me that Mpumi, your vagina smells, or you have a body odor, or X, Y, Z, or X, Y, Z. But instead, it was a man that came to talk to me about it. Well, typical of Yolanda, she was still hell-bent on defending herself. Now, earlier yesterday, I think in the morning, yeah, in the morning, um, Pumi had called a meeting with the general house and she was complaining about the fact that her team members were too lazy, they don't clean, they don't pull their weight when it comes to um, the delegation of um, chores in the house. Um, turns out that she was actually with the group of Sinai, Liema, and Yolanda. And ladies and gentlemen, we know that in the house, those three people are very lazy. They do not pull their weight when it comes to chores in the house. They are very, very messy people. They, are, they want people to do things for them, all three of them, yeah. But Mpumi is very, very dedicated when it comes to pulling her own weight, you know, when it comes to her um, chores in the house. So Mpumi complained about it. According to her, she had had a conversation with them before, but they were not changing. So she wants to move on to another team and then she had joined the Mac Junior and Makekes team and those ones were quite glad to have her join them because recognized that she is also very very dedicated and consistent when it comes to doing what needed to be done in the house. Now that really upset Yolanda to the point that when the three of them that she, Sinai and Liema were in the dressing area she had brought up Mpumi's personal hygiene as some sort of retaliation to complain you know that was when she was now talking about oh you're complaining about cleanliness cleanliness begins from here cleanliness begins from here she wants to say sometimes but she knows that he's not going to come out right she's just saying it as he was laughing so loud i mean it was some sort of entertainment for them they were laughing so hard and it was quite disappointing to watch not like i actually expected anything more from yolanda i mean hey it's a game. Yolanda tends to speak out of turn a lot of times, just as much as most of the housemates in the house, you know, tend to say mean things, you know, to their fellow housemates sometimes as well. You know, for them, it's a game, it's a competition. They're all playing their games. So however way they can bring down the spirit of their fellow housemates, they're going to definitely do it. Either via gossips, you know, peddling terrible, vile gossips, you know, around the house about their fellow housemates or probably by confrontations. And that's what every single one of them in that house has been doing. No single person is a saint. All of them are guilty of peddling dirty gossips about each other around the house, you know. So Yolanda was doing hers in her usual loud manner. And yesterday morning, it had really gotten to Mpumi, to the point that Mpumi was crying in the garden. When I saw her crying, ladies and gentlemen, I felt really bad. And then I put out a question on Twitter asking, you know, that when someone has a terrible personal hygiene, you know, when someone doesn't smell good, how do you, how do you approach the conversation? Do you talk to other people about it to go talk to that person? Or do you have a conversation about it with that person directly? Or what exactly do you think is the right way? to pass on that information to that person or create that awareness to that person. Because a lot of times, some people do not really smell nice or some people do not really look nice, but they don't know, they are not really aware. Some of them know, but because it's probably something they've been dealing with for the longest time, they do not necessarily have the solution to help themselves. And so they need people to help them, but sometimes they don't even have that confidence and that courage to talk to people about it, to help them. So you that knows what is the best way to approach such 
a sensitive conversation with such people. And this is not also just supporting Lerato and Papa Ghost for discussing it either. I mean, hey, um, these two people are always together, so they will always talk about things that they have noticed in the house. Just like Yolanda will always talk about everything that's happening in the house with her friends, Chuenza and me. Listening to Yolanda talking about oh, Papa Ghost was the one that spread the rumors. Guys, I just felt like, nah, that was a blatant lie. <laughs> because the way she kept on saying it and emphasizing on it, it was more like blame shifting. She did what she did yesterday morning, making a mockery of Mpumi's situation. And then in trying to vindicate herself, she was, you know, villainizing what's his name now, Papa Ghost and Lerato, you know, saying all sorts of things, just basically blaming even people that had been evicted from the house. But I'm like, girl, Mpumi is actually talking about the one that you were hammering on this morning. Why not just take accountability for your recklessness? Take accountability for your insensitivity to that situation other than trying to shift the blame. Because Mpumi told her that Papa Ghost was the only person that approached her to have a conversation about it with her. He was the only person that had the courage to come to her. And for her, that was exactly what matters. But Yolanda did not come to her. Instead, she was making a mockery of her, you know? using it for entertainment, for content. And that really got to her. And guys, I just felt like Yolanda was basically unkind in that conversation with Mpumi because once again, I was just, you know, reversing the situation that imagine it was Yolanda that was very insecure about her skin condition. And Mpumi was being all unapologetic about it, all in the name of I am bold, I'm confident, I'm loud. <laughs> the whole internet would have eaten Mpumi raw. As a matter of fact, because Mpumi is up for eviction this week, they would ensure that they pumped in votes for even people that they did not want to be in the house, just so that Mpumi would get evicted from the show. And then once again, <laughs> it all boils down to the hypocrisy of the fans. So ladies and gentlemen, I did not really want to talk about this. I like I, I, that's why on my previous video I was asking you all if you think we should have a live conversation about it or not, or if I should do a video about it. I did not want to talk about it because, guys, I, I was very uncomfortable, you know, watching that whole exchange between both of them last night because it was just too sensitive. And the way Yolanda handled it, she handled it with the utmost childishness. She did not act her age in that conversation. She was very reckless in that conversation. She was speaking so loud, she was not listening. And that's a problem that Yolanda has, listening. She does not have conversations to listen and to understand. She was just shouting and shouting, shouting, shouting. Pumi will be talking, she'll be walking away. You know what, guys? <laughs> let, me not, let me not dwell too much on it. But I would love to hear from all of you. So please go ahead, share your thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah. See you guys on another video.